G'day there. I, I thought I'd share with you some things that I've found very helpful to me, uh, some ideas um, that I, I think I've come up with, I don't know, but they certainly have helped me progress further with playing the harmonica. Personally, I really don't like using tabs. And I prefer to figure out a tune by ear, but I've not always found this to be possible, hence tabs are very useful at times, particularly uh, with new and difficult tunes. My finding was though that most tabbing systems tend to be a little bit too busy. There's a lot of information to decipher. Uh, some even uh, are downright confusing with arrows going up and arrows coming down sideways. Um, very, very confusing. So what I thought I might share with you uh, it, and what I would emphasize though, that whatever works for you, you should stick with it. But this really does work for me. Uh, I, I use, I, I transcribe the tabs and I use very strong colors uh, for uh, draw and blow notes. For example, I, I use red for draw notes and black for blow notes. Uh, and if possible, I do put the, uh, the uh, lyrics underneath. Uh, I find that, you know, it, it, you, there's a lot more print, a le lot less print on the page and a lot less for the mind to decipher if you use colours like stop, go. Uh, the brain has to decipher and it can make a quicker and easier read, which in turn makes less room for error. error. My version could probably be improved, for example, by using commas instead of... Uh, uh, B, B, B for uh, uh, bend, bending notes, as are done here. Um, I print out the tabs on my computer using colour printer and the biggest possible typeface. I mount the tabs I'm practising onto a clipboard like this. Um, I, I hang the clipboard uh, at wall height or slightly above, uh, not wall height, on the wall uh, at head height or slightly above head height because I find that if you put them on a table in front of you, you tend to lean down and dribble into the harmonica which can clog up. If at all possible, I always put the lyrics there. Uh, the tabs illustrated on this one are, are for old Joe Clark, a well-known uh, bluegrass tune. Uh, there's a hell of a lot going on with some of these tabs. Uh, for example, here I've illustrated the same uh, first and last line of tabs uh, for Joe Clark using my interpretation uh, as opposed to some others, the plus and minus and the D and B. Um, a tune I'm still working on is Red Wing, another bluegrass tune, so I thought I'd finish with the uh, a shortened version and see what happens. I'm still working on it. I hope some of my comments might have been helpful to you. Thanks for listening. Thank you.